Alright guys, Fukagi here and welcome back to the brand new video. Here we are again on Higan Everett Hill. Honestly, having a lot of fun on this game. Like, I, I was really impressed with the game in the close battle and now when we have official global release. I, I just love the game. Um, on today's video, I want to show you the brand new gift code. So we have two more new gift codes that I want to show you. And then after that, I will tell you some beginner tips and mistakes you should definitely avoid. Okay, leave a like, subscribe, check out my description below for the Bluestacks link. Click on that link, install Higan Eret Hill and play it on PC. Okay, so the new gift codes. Uh, let me just open this up. Okay, so here we go. Here we go. No. Oh. We go here, we go into the promo code, okay, I already made one video where I showed you that one of the codes is this one, okay, so it won't work now because I already used it, but this is one of the codes that I showed on the previous video, so just a reminder. The second one is Taima uh, EUSS, okay, that should work redemption complete okay and then the third one is chaotic che the 46 okay and this is overall all three gift codes that we currently have okay i'm interested what we got from this gift code so let me check it out uh, again, decent prices that will help us to progress overall just for the enhancement materials. What is this? Uh, used to get a random, random precious gift. Okay, most likely for the... For increasing bond or whatever it's called. Uh, okay. Anyways, not the main topic. So we are done with the gift codes. If you know any more gift codes, put it in the comment section below. I will definitely pin that comment or something like that. But okay, beginner tips and mistakes you should avoid. So first of all, when you open the game, you, you will have some tutorial gameplay like always. You're going to go through that and then you're going to be able to summon a little bit. Uh, so let me start with this. Reroll, reroll, reroll. In my eyes, in this game, rerolling is not necessary. Why? Because we get media for free. We get Rocco for free. And the rest you can just summon and have fun. I believe even Euphoria immediately we have. So no problem with that. Generally with these characters you can progress so much. Especially media for the DPS single target and AoE damage. And Roko for that additional support and heal. So you will start progressing of course with these characters. And everything will go fine. At some point you will be stuck. And what do you need to do when you're stuck? You need to level up the characters. You need to level up the skills. You need to awaken the characters. And in that way you're going to be able to beat where you are stuck. Now the most crucial materials that you need to farm in this game. To level up the character is. So for example I need it right now is this experience pots now how to find where you need to farm those to get them well you just click on it you go into diorama battle and right here you can generally farm those okay when you finish three star you can just on any type of the battle you're facing as when you do this three star this is an amazing tip for um grinding the materials you need you can go into out of battle uh, you can put i don't know we want to grind this five times and here it says pretty much how much stamina will be consumed so here i have enough stamina for four twice you just click uh, start and then automatically the grain will the game will grind out this part of course there is no skip tickets yet so don't expect that but definitely you can just literally go to sleep put this 100 times and it will be farmed um, also you can when you click on the start you can put auto re refill with either or with standard dubrio styles now uh, dubrio styles can be also used for the summoning material at least you can exchange them for the more tickets for the summons so i don't advise to use a lot of those um dubrio style okay but still when you need it use it not a big of the deal it's just 100 so not nothing too crazy so definitely you can use even that uh, dubrio crystals for redeeming your stamina because it's worth it in the long term because you're gonna progress okay um the, here the it's like 
I know this type of the games and generally summoning in this game um, is not a bad, bad thing, but definitely you need to think advanced to save up certain materials for the future. Now, about the rerolling, like I said, it's not necessary, but if you want to go for some of the characters, definitely Aluya is the one. She is the best single target damage dealer. So when you are stuck at certain bosses, boom, you definitely want to use her because she will one shot things. But like I said, not a must. You can still progress. So don't worry too much about the rerolling. Now, one of the crucial advices that I can give you that I learned from the previous players that made this mistake is they didn't play properly outland now this part is crucial guys in eventually you will reach level 70 now now i'm level 50 for example i am level 50 of my characters eventually you will get to level 70 and then you will have a break point where you need to go to the level 80 and still you're gonna be stuck and you won't be able to progress why because play play is essential in this game i have on euphoria play now you're gonna unlock this after 320 chapter or something like that this set will give you certain bonuses to the character and they place it's called place it's like an armor like additional attack or something like that so it gives you additional buffs to your character and you have certain place for certain character okay so here for example it is a, it just give you a boost to the stats and definitely you will need to grind those plays so your character can be stronger and stronger and stronger now i will ascend this really soon um okay so let me just finish the place then we're gonna go and i will explain this ascending and what is really important to promote and progress uh, with the characters so but this one i just need to put it out there play this outland uh realm of fighters mesmerizing labyrinth this is crucial because here you get the drop for the place and those plays can be uh, um, applied to your characters that will give you additional buff this is important that you do it every day because if you don't do it every day you will miss out a ton of plays and in that way you will be screwed up in a long term speaking so yeah make sure to do this here you're gonna get plenty of enhancing like you will see you're gonna get so much stuff so but especially you're doing this for the place i i still didn't farm this but i know this for a fact because i played uh the below the soft soft launch okay so let me just face one and let we see so pretty much you need to do all of that and then and we're gonna have some chance to get plays definitely do this every day i repeat okay so let's do it really quickly what is even this do, do we fight or what i can't remember anymore oh yeah of course we fight so let me do this one match and we can we can start talking about other things let me just put it on auto now um while we add it let me give you a few tips on the combat when you see you're stuck and you can be can't beat it on auto you need to play it manually because like that you will time the attacks properly certain characters can even interrupt certain characters can gather other gather other opponents in one place and then you can finish it uh so this is the type of mode where you pretty much apply your buff and then you go against stages and etc etc okay so let's leave it now i will now farm this but i just wanted to tell you this part is crucial for you to farm so everything from outland is a must now of course the crucial thing is to level up your characters for example media i cannot ascend her further for now but for example, I can ascend uh, Rita or even maybe better Euphoria. How I can ascend her? Well, I just click ascend and she will be ascended. Uh, she will get a buff and the max level inc will increase to the 50. Now, this is the material that you need. Again, when you need it, you can literally go to the auto refill. You can put like, I want to farm this, uh, I don't know, four times and boom, just click start. You can even put the refill and the game will automatically grind this material really easy and then you're going to be able to ascend now i won't do this because i don't want to waste your time a skill uh, for example i increase the skill of media uh, to be to level up your skills you will need to ascend the character to certain levels so for example she's level 50 and i was able to 
increase and buff my skills awakening you can get it by by getting the fragments for that character by farming in the game or summoning most of the times by the summons you will get those material okay also don't make the mistake and don't summon too much focus on one banner like if you want to get a luya focus on that banner and get her get to the pity boom don't spread up your resources through the banners um but of course the pity here is the same it carries on this banner and this banner so you're good but it doesn't carry for example here of course because we're summoning for the place but yeah take it easy take it chill and don't worry about it but my advice is focus on one banner at least aluya and then try to get her and then focus on the other banner if you want to get it but you do you not a big mistake if you even go a little bit here a little bit there there it's 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 your way to do it it's it's your choice okay mm, okay make sure don't forget like to grind the chapters like if you want to progress in this game story uh, is essential and really important now let me let me show you just a few things that you could make a mistake while playing okay so let me go into this and pretty much we are done and um, I, I don't want to go into too much details this is like the main mistakes that you can do now imagine one thing actually let me show you like one really crucial thing boom uh let me just go with with this and one second so for example I, I took a screenshot just because of this video so so you see it is really important as you can see i had like only 3k power so this was in the beginning before you go into the battle you will see some in some stages you will see buffs in certain fields and in certain fields you will see that certain characters enemies do insane damage on that part so you don't want to put the character here and you want to put your characters here as you can see here it's like a more crit damage or something like that and here is a defense shield so be smart for example my attacker euphoria for example here she it is nice that she has a shield because then she will have more longevity okay and of course here i want to move this character so this this would be like the best thing to do right here so i move this character to the left so he doesn't do so the enemy doesn't do crazy damage to him plus i gave put my characters on the buff field so this will happen sometimes and definitely you want to take advantage of that guys okay or, or on this example we don't have it so it's fine every team should consist of dps characters for example like i have media a uh, long uh, range attackers like i have this uh, i don't know her name i forgot and then euphoria is also an amazing for that single target really close combat damage dealer and then you need to have like support character tank or something like that and then you play around with that okay so you should definitely use dps and support characters their main and of course tank characters when you have them you can play around and create certain strategies okay guys um hopefully everything was helpful i just want to um clarify one more thing so let me open up um pretty much I, I i don't need to show you like all the details i believe it's unnecessary um mainly i just want to show you things that i don't want from you that you made a mistake but everything else is self-explanatory like when you need something you just click on the boom and it will show you where do you need to go and then you farm it off like i don't need to explain you nothing spectacular here also don't forget to do the dailies it's essential to do the um, uh, opening celebration beginner okay beginner bundle you don't need to buy that uh, but it, outland is really important also arc task for example here you can grind other materials that are necessary uh, and that you need them for example this is the material like coins uh this is the experience material another way to get it uh purge anomaly again all of these materials are necessary in this game so you can progress okay uh, also this elemental rhapsody make sure to play it don't don't make me make mistake and avoid this 
all of that will be necessary but like i said the most crucial thing to play so you don't get stuck is here in the realm of fighters mesmerizing labyrinth okay that's essential to do it you will need those plays okay guys hopefully you did enjoy it hopefully this video was helpful leave a like subscribe tell me your opinions tell me your tips in the description below so other people can see it and yeah the next one bye